Welcome back to part four of my Vratislav game. In the previous part, we were thinking about the direction that we want to take this game in and have decided that declaring war on Hungary and pressing our son's claim, just to see, you know, just to see what happens, is going to be our, our next move here. So I'm kind of preparing to go to war with Hungary. Um, these alliances are both internal, so he's not really got any friends that are going to help him out. We have Poland. He's not going to die anytime soon. He's strong. So he'll come and help us, hopefully. Um, I think our grandson is actually allied with us. Kind of strangely enough. We can get him excommunicated, but we can't ally with our own grandson. Uh, and then no alliance here anymore. So I was kind of hoping the Pope would just give me a, a little bag of cash here. Seems like he's got his own problems, though. He's actually at war with Tuscany. What's he doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Matilda's attacking the Pope. And winning. It's a part of her de jure territory, but uh, that's... She's got that, like, Imperial Vicar thing where she's <laughs> supposed to be, like, friends with the Pope. Kind of weird. Um, so I could force some of these sons to serve as knights before the war, but I'm not sure I really need to do that. Um, it's just more people that are eventually going to be uh, maybe potential heirs that we can play. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Uh, I just want a little bit of pool my gold up. I think we're actually probably about good here. My income's so high that I'm sure even with my army raised, we're still going to be making some money. Uh, but yeah, let's get it started. So we're pressing our son's claim. I'm thinking that he's going to also be a vassal of the HRE after, since we are. Not 100% sure. He might become independent. Uh, oh yeah, we allied with this guy. He married our daughter. Is he actually? Oh, okay, yeah. That's his daughter with someone else. Okay. Oh, and then she married... Okay, interesting. Anyways, let's get going. Uh, you, come here. You, come here. They're both nearby. They're both not in a war. So they should come and help us. And we're just going to start sieging random stuff. Oh, yeah, we're still making, like, half of our income. So this is going to be pretty easy, I think. Unless he allies with, like, the <laughs> Byzantines or something like that. No, they got their own problems down there. Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, he's got another war, actually. What's this? Oh, he's attacking. Oh, that's... Not really good timing for you. So we're still first in line. Does he not have a kid yet? He's had a daughter, but not a son. I think that we'll still be high up in the line of succession uh, at, until at least he has a son who becomes an adult, probably most likely. Keep sieging my way over towards uh, his capital here. Um, yeah, if he goes and sieges my ally's land, I could care less. I'll just happily siege my way over to his capital. I'll make myself some more siege weapons, actually. I always tend to forget that until I actually do go to war. <clears throat> okay, so we'll take this. I, I think I just keep going down Scholar here. It makes more sense. Is there any point to doing this? Not really. Uh, groom to Rule would be a lot of benefit for our sons. Not that big of a deal, though. White piece. Yeah, no, I don't think so, dude going on here my son here is thinking about leaving as well we could make him a high almoner okay different son high almoner make him um seneschal not really court poet court musician court chronicler what are you actually going to be good at? 
I guess I'll just give you a job for the sake of having a job. Uh, something on the cheaper side. Caravan master. There you go. Good for you, buddy. <gasps> well, that's another brother down. So that affects our succession. Let's have a look-see now. It should be our nephew, right? Yeah, we kind of knew about this guy. So he's serving as a knight. So if he actually ends up dying, then our house seniority is just going to go to who would have been our heir otherwise. What happened here? Wow, your wife died in childbirth. So you can raise your daughters. I will raise your sons. We could get them married again, I guess, but I think I'll just leave it for now. That created uh, four more people that will be in our line of succession, I guess. I think he's actually fighting in his other war, which is kind of weird. Um, he's getting attacked. Damn it. So his troops are going to pull out. I will join, since it's a defensive war. But he's going to pull back. Are we going to take damage going here? No. Okay, let's just go for the capital then. He's still helping me out, Corinthia. Thank you. How's my daughter doing? Uh-oh, not doing well. Uh, this is actually useful. It makes the Pope like you more. Tempted to do it just because I want money from the Pope, but I think he's got his own problems. Okay, he lost that war. Whenever he gets some money, he should be willing to give me some, I think. Oh, here they come. It's actually uh, a decent-sized army. We're not winning this in a steamroll by any means. Are you going to come here and fight me? No, right? Surely not. I'm going to go and fight you, though. I think that we should win this quite easily. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, nice. He won his war now. Come back and help me again. <clears throat> so we got a decent amount from the battle. We also captured the capital. We didn't capture anyone of significance, it looks like. Uh, I guess we probably just go back down there, right? These guys will all come help us. Oh, you really just ran away like that? Okay. There we go. That's my 1400. Yeah, my money's been going up during this war, so we can definitely uh, keep doing stuff back home here. Uh, I'm going to build mostly these buildings here just to kind of buff up my troops a little bit. Blacksmiths? Sure. Uh, let's not spend all of our money, though, just in case we need it. Tragic. Looks like he's gone back to attacking Moldova. This man does not have his priorities in line. Still first in line. How's it going, Mr. Emperor? Okay, he has had a son, Prince Heinrich, again. No one wants that little kid to be emperor, though. Uh, my dudes have almost starved themselves down. I think that we can win the war without actually disbanding our army, though. Many peasant lives will be lost. It's very sad. 86. I think we probably need two more. Unfortunate. These guys are actually helping me. It's super nice when they actually do that. Who got excommunicated? Not just some guy. So we're probably going to have to actually help our son. Uh, I imagine these guys will revolt a little bit. They are Catholic, so they're not going to hate us. Him hate him too much, but not sure how this is actually going to go. 
Um, what are we doing here? 95, really. Uh, hopefully we can just finish this off. What are you doing there? Seven months? What are we doing here? Three? Okay, yeah, we got this. I'm pretty sure. I gain legitimacy. I gain a hook on my son. I gain fame. He gets the kingdom and the home county. And the current king will become his vassal. So yeah, he's probably going to have uh, problems holding on to that. So it is independent. Interesting. I did not know that. Um, he's still in my house. We still end up, might end up becoming him, actually. Uh, is there anything that we can just do to get rid of this guy? He doesn't want, like, he's in line, so he's not going to really be down with it. Unless I actually want to murder him, or imprison him, or whatever, then I think that we just become him for a little bit, unless he dies naturally. And then we'll end up becoming our son anyway. Right? It's not like if he has a kid, that kid's going to jump him. It's, it's just going to stay in order unless these guys die. He's most likely, yeah, he already has partition, so he's not going to want house seniority, so it's just going to go to his kids, though, and that's kind of where it's going to get difficult. I'm interested to see how it ends up turning out, though. Um, yeah, I mean, he doesn't look so bad. He's not great, but I'm sure he's a nice lad. What did you do? Uh, yeah, let's just give me money, give me money. And he left. We'll let this Baron do that job. And my boy has passed me in land, so we will negotiate an alliance with him, though. And that way, any wars he gets into, we can go and help him. Uh, so strong alliances in the area. Corinthia, Hungary, Poland... It's like there's a little Vidilist kingdom going on here. Ooh. Aggravated wound. He got wounded. Interesting. How's my health doing? Okay, we're in poor health even with whole of body, so it's it's getting serious. It's getting very serious. Uh yeah, it'll be kinda interesting. I mean like we become our heir. We just hang out for a little bit and then eventually inherit uh, Hungary as well, I guess. When we become this guy. Yeah, I guess so. What? I don't feel like you should be able to do that. Just the younger one. I guess we don't care too much. There's going to be so many of these random sons that we uh, end up not playing anyway. Night, night, night. <laughs> Cuff bear. They all got uh, different jobs. Something to do. Keep them busy, I guess. Uh, you actually suck now. Let's get our other son in here. The fat boy. Oh. There we go. What happened? Okay, so my daughter with leprosy has passed away. It's very unfortunate. Um... I think, yeah, let's just get Frozen Grief, you know, like it's, we can take some health penalties, it, we're almost ready to move on to our next character anyways. What are you doing? Probably one of my sons. <laughs> if I had to guess, there's a lot of single sons that I have in my court. Uh, here's my grandson, we'll make him diligent, of course. 
Uh, is he actually doing okay? So he's got 2,000 troops. It's not a lot. People are going to like him, though. He's honest, compassionate, and generous. He's got a lot of diplomacy, so he might actually be able to avoid factions. So this is the former king. He's actually very powerful. I think, right? Yeah. It's going to start to get on in years, actually. Oh, my bad, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? You could just actually join up. And then, what's going on with you? She wants to make armor. Are you good at that? If we recruit you, does that work? Elvira? Oh, there you go. Oh, she's not that good at it. You know what? Have at it. I trust your judgment completely. Um, yeah, Renown. That's exactly what we want. So we've got a huge king of Bavaria here now. Lotharingia as well. Who are you? Okay, the king of Ruthenia. King, in air quotes. Uh, you're in two wars. You're not that strong. It's his eldest daughter and my soon-to-be uh, player. <laughs> He's my heir. I, I mean, she looks fine. She is uh, a zealous orthodox, though, on the other hand. Um, but he could start having kids. It's not the worst thing, I guess. I, I don't particularly want the alliance with him, though. Oh, it actually is into the alliance. Okay, have at it, then. It will be once I become him, I think. Uh, okay, so he does have a faction. He does have a faction. And we have Crusades. Interesting. Um, higher priority is going to be helping our son out, though. Wise man. Yes. Let's go and do that whenever we can. So I'm trying to engage these armies before they all group up and kind of death ball me. Oh, bummer. Oh, are you actually coming in here then? No, you changed your mind. Okay. So where's my son's army? Because he's... Oh, wow. He's actually getting destroyed. Okay, I might actually need to figure this war out for him. I, I don't think he's going to be able to win it himself. I think he didn't call me early enough and got his army kind of wiped out, and then this is all that's left of it, is I think what happened. It's a war against the tyranny. So he'll get deposed if he loses this. It'll go to my grandson, his son, who will most likely also just get deposed, and it will become him. Uh, so yeah, we we do want to win this war. Um, I'm going to continue trying to help my son defend his kingdom title in the next part, though. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.